We spend about a month and a half to two months in design, concept and design phase. And then our building phase starts at the beginning of the year, so at the first week of January. Just as we're recovering from New Year's Eve, we, <laughs> we start in the workshop. So this is the stage that the KFM celebrities are going to be on. So what we've done is we've just laid it out here on the ground uh, with all the elements to work out what the stage is going to look like. It's going to look something like it's that. It's going to look something like that. So that's our starting uh, point. Amazing. The float building team at the moment, which is at its max, and it's 25 people. My name is Lebohang Ditsidi, originally from Johannesburg, but working for Cape Town Carnival for a couple of years now. Myself, I work mostly in the scenic and finishing, painting, finishing, putting everything together. Sometimes we do reuse a whole float. And if it feels relevant to the theme, we always reuse elements. So in the very first year of Carnival, we built a whole lot of chassis bases. And for years and years and years, since we began, we reused those floats as our basic uh, trolley. Uh, seeing people appreciating what you, do, what you did, and it's a very fulfilling feeling. It's much love you get from the people, respect, uh, not even that doesn't come directly towards you, but uh, seeing people appreciating what you, do, what you did. Five, six, seven, and go, yes, no, sir, sir. Musenberg High here, and we're busy practicing for Cape Town Carnival. It's our third year that we're participating in Cape Town Carnival. We've always been a design group, so we've always made something, and this is the first year that we're actually doing a dance. <laughs> So it's all a bit scary and uh, so we are busy practicing in the sun and dying but uh, <laughs> it's all good and we're gonna go for it. Two, three, four, storm, storm, cap, land, ah! Uh, up here, third floor, captain costume in the middle of town, it's uh, not chaotic but it's, it's a lack of fun creative chaos going on at the moment and here for our final fitting getting ready for carnival on uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. So it's my first time part of the carnival and I'm going as a beauty queen. So I've had my headpiece fitted. They're still busy doing some finishing touches on my skirt. And I'm quite excited to see what the final look will be like. But one thing is for sure, I've practiced my wave already. <laughs> yeah, we've got more or less 2,000 participants. Of them, we probably costuming 1,700 odd. I began in November, beginning of November. So it's been four months intensely. We've got a core group of 13 people and Maria whose premises these are has got probably 40 people working with her so we've split the load. She's doing most of the big fabrications and our workshop is more clothing orientated and a bit of kind of textile fabrication. <laughs> my first impressions of my costume it's totally different to what I imagine and it's absolutely fantastic it's big it's cartoonish it's crazy hair after the show hopefully I can keep them and go for a surf it'll be really interesting what my mates say when I take up on a way wearing some of these I love the headgear I feel like it's, it's very like it's got an Egyptian -y, like sort of queen feel to it absolutely love it it's over the top and over the top is what the carnival is about we're ready it's gonna be fabulous I want the music to play and the parade to begin Well, it's three, three hours before showtime and uh, we're in the makeup department and there's just so much going on. Crazy, crazy people. And then you can also see people having their body spray painted. The energy is alive and I think it will just keep building as we get closer to showtime. Makeup, as you can see, is drama on another level. Uh, it is the Cape Town Carnival, so I feel like we need to be dramatic, theatrical. All the things that I kind of wish I could do on a daily basis, but I have to wait for a day like this to be. Uh, in Britain, come with a special live broadcast coming to you from the amazing, like, fun-filled streets uh, of Greenpoint. It is the Cape Town Carnival, absolutely the finest event uh, that Cape Town hosts. Oh! Cape Town traffic superhero and I love how they've modeled my hair on my actual hair it's amazing I am going as Johnny Bravo today for the uh, for the carnival because Johnny Bravo is a sexist misogynist wait a minute hey hey
We're at the start of the Cape Town Carnival, literally minutes away from the beginning. All the way down here is the amazing fan mile that is packed with around 20 odd thousand Cape Townians as they gear up and get ready for the Cape Town Carnival. Ladies and gents, this is it. In five, four, three, two, one! 